What's up guys welcome back to the code mat uh, today we are going to learn one more problem uh, problem called merge case sorted list okay it's one of the most frequently asked question in the interviews also it's one of the top 100 most liked uh, problems from the lit code now let's understand the problem first and then we'll try to understand different uh, solution approach and we'll also see the different variations in the uh, time complexity as well as space complexity all right so what problem says is you have a you have to merge k sorted link list and return it as a one sorted list analyze and describe its a time complexity all right so this is what we would like to do now let's see the example so in the example uh, these are the input list given to us okay so first list second and three third so total here we have three list and the output is these all are individually as a sorted and output also we want as sorted list all right now let's understand the different solution approach for this problem all right so i have list down this three list that is given in the input all right okay now the first or the normal uh, approach or brute force approach that we can apply is let's say we would like to uh, have a, our output is in a sorted order okay and our input list are also in a sorted order so what we can do is uh, let's say we run uh, one loop which will uh, check from what all uh, out of their uh, k list which one having a small element so i will run through this elements let's say first time this many elements for all the k list i will run and i will pick one which one is a minimum out of all okay and that one i will add into the my result list so let's say first time we got this as a minimum so we have added into the result list now this node is gone so my whatever the head pointer is at here i will move that pointer to the at this level okay the second time again i will do the same same uh, uh, approach and it, it this time i will i will check for this many elements okay so four one and two uh, in between those which one is a minimum so one is a minimum so we'll add that into the result and we will move your pointer to here now this time this element this element and this element again i will check so the minimum is two so this one will be your head now so that way what i'm saying is that way we will do a uh, a two iter iterations within the uh, k link list and then we find out which one is a minimum and take out from the mini uh, take out from the given list and move your pointer to the next node so that way you will have your result list now in this approach if you see so ultimately let's say uh, total number of nodes within this if we include all the link list uh, nodes let's say it is n okay and the uh, total list you have given is let's say k so in this case we will ultimately we will end up with total because you are you are running one loop for k times one loop is for k times and that you will run for all the nodes to find out whether it is minimum or not so at the end you will have the total time, time complexity in this scenario is equal to n into k okay now let's understand the second approach now let's say instead of uh, doing a uh, two nested level loop one for the k and one for the n let's do one thing instead of that let's connect all this link list create one single link list whether it is in order or not for example let's say this is first link list and then we connect the second one so this is what i'm saying one it points to three four two and six okay so this all are let's say we have n nodes uh, once you have this list just do a short on this list okay and then you will have a final result so once you do a shorting it will having a correct positions okay so in this scenario our what time complexity it will take is you have n nodes okay so normally it will take n log n in this scenario to get the output all right now is there a way to sh still we can reduce this n log n now let's understand that solution also all right so in the previous uh, solution that we explore that was like it was taking a n log n 
okay so we were adding all the list in one list and then we are sorting it but here if you see one thing we are missing is you do not need to add all the list because if you see list itself individual list itself is one uh, in a sorted order okay so probably we can take a benefit of it now how we can do that so let's say uh, if you see all the nodes are in a shorted order all the list are in a shorted order right so if i would say let's say this one is my minimum then the next whatever the element that i will have is a higher as compared to that and same goes for the other elements so what i can do is so you have let's say k total list okay so i can let's say define a one mean heap okay which is having a size equal to k always it will have a size equal to k and i will always a pick the first time first element from the all the list so let's say first time my heap will look like this way okay so this one is coming from the first list this one is from second list this one is from third list okay and for every time what i will do is i will pick the minimum value it, as it is a mean heap i will pick the topmost element so mean value from that okay so let's say this is my first element okay whenever i pick this node or this element so i will add a next whatever the node that this list node has that i will add to the my list so in this case let's say this one is coming from the first list step itself okay so in that case i will add four to this one okay so the next new uh prior uh new heap will look like one two and four all right now again i will follow the same or uh, same path so i will take one from this mean now this one is coming from second list so i will add three from the second list okay so now my uh priority queue look like or mean hip will look like two three and four okay and again i will do the same thing okay so that way i will have my whatever the output result that i am having will be in a ordered way so here what we are doing is we are taking extra space of k but ultimately we can have as a result we can have a reduce in a time complexity so what is the time complexity here in this solution is so you have a heap of size k and for k size heap every time if you add a new element to that so heapifying will take a log of k okay and how many times you will do this look uh, heapifying that is a total number of nodes so that is a n so the time complexity for this one is n log k so this looks to be little bit uh, uh, good as compared to the previous two uh whatever the solution that we have uh discussed all right so that's it in this uh, problem hope you guys uh, understood the problem statement uh, i would suggest you guys based on this solution try to write it down uh, solution for that this is one of the problem from the lead code uh, you can go over there and you can practice it i would suggest first to write it by yourself if you are not able to resolve or if you are stuck somewhere uh, i have a given uh, problem solution link in the description you can go through that see you in the next video till the time bye bye